Hello, everybody, and welcome to another session of Ask the Experts. Today, as the commercial was saying, uh, we are going to dedicate our time to manage your raw DNA, your DNA data on my heritage. My name is Daniel Horowitz. I am the genealogy expert in my heritage since 2006. I am dedicated to genealogy for way more years than that. Since 1986, I was a teacher and study guide editor of the Family History Project Searching for My Roots back in Venezuela. I'm also uh, involved on crowdsourced digitization and transcription projects and volunteering my time for the Israel Genealogy Research Association. Uh, for all of you, and I see a lot of names uh, that are usual suspects or my very good friends in the list, welcome back. For those new to this, uh, you have the question panel right there on your webinar settings. Make sure that you write me there your messages, your questions, and uh, I will do my best to keep an eye on that and make sure that I answer. If not during the webinar, I will do that at the end. Uh, and if you are watching this as a recording, well, I'm very sorry I will not be able to answer your questions, but I definitely wish and hope that you will be here next time and you will learn just a little bit about our subject. Okay, without further ado, let's go again to our website and I'm going to start from the very beginning. Um, from the demo website that I have built uh, to show you these presentations because my heritage don't want to reveal any information, any private information from anybody in here. So uh, once I am in the homepage, I'm going to look for the DNA menu right here. And I can do this actually from any page. And what I was saying before is that I'm going to start from the very, very beginning, meaning to upload a DNA, because I don't know how many of you have done a MyHeritage test, and we thank you for that. But if you have already a DNA test in another company, you can upload it to MyHeritage without any problem. Just make sure that you're uploading your autosomal test and any of the other companies that are out there, they will do autosomal DNA tests. So you only need to export or download the digital file and upload it to MyHeritage. Will you receive different things that if I test with MyHeritage? No. The features, the matches, the information, it's going to be pretty much the same because all the companies are testing the same areas of the DNA. So why the difference? Well, because MyHeritage has its own database of people testing. So we have probably more people from Europe and other parts of the world because we are selling almost in any country of the world. So uh, feel free if you had already a test upload your DNA again from the DNA menu, upload DNA data and just click on start the upload. My heritage is going to ask you if this is for you or somebody else. Of course, you will need to uh, agree to the terms and conditions and to confirm that you have permission to upload the DNA. And just in case that you have any troubles downloading your DNA, either from Ancestry, Family Tree DNA, 23andMe, and I think we have another more company that we support. So you have here instructions, step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to download from the other website. So all you need to do is to follow these instructions both for Ancestry and for Family Tree DNA from 23andMe 
And with this, you will be able to have your or anybody else DNA uploaded to MyHeritage. Now, uh, if you are uploading DNA for somebody else, you will be the administrator for that kid. If you or somebody else in the family is doing a MyHeritage DNA kit and you go and you activate that kid, that means you are going to be the one, again, administrating that kid and that DNA. Okay, we are ready to go now to manage those DNA kits. Of course, that we're talking about a couple of days if you upload or up to three weeks if you swap and send the test to the lab. But eventually, you're going to be able to track everything that's happening with that uh, test. Under Manage DNA Kit, we will keep you posted both here and through emails what is going with the test until you go and you will see that the results are ready. Once you see this, it means you can go and you can actually see ethnicities, matches, and other type of information. Now, in this very special case, you see that I have uploaded uh, DNA kits from Brian. Brian Jensen allowed me to upload his DNA from another company. And Brian didn't want to be bothered uh, to receive results, to communicate with other people. He said, you can uh, simply uh, manage this DNA kit and uh, let me know what's happening. Now, if the other person wants to be involved, very easy, you will see this option to invite the person to also view the results. All what you need to do is to type the email address of the person that was, will generate an account for the person, the individual, he will need, he or she will need to set up a password and that will allow them also to see the results for this DNA kit only because that is their DNA kit. Now, you will notice that there are three dots on the right of this DNA kit and this is where you are going to perform other tasks. First, you may have made a mistake when you assign this kid to Brian, here you can fix it. You can reassign the kid to a different person. And I can just simply uh, type the name of the person here. And let's say Jansen. My heritage is going to look into my family tree and it's going to suggest me the people that matches the name that I'm typing. Or you can just type one name, whatever name you want, and you can type DNA, oops, one second, uh, DNA123, and this is what people are going to see from this DNA kit. So this is kind of an alias or an, or an also known as for the kit. So you don't have to reveal the name, the, the uh, real name of the person. The other thing that you can do here is obviously view the ethnicity or the matches, and you can delete this kid. Please don't do that. But if you want, if you need, you are able to do it with the no problem. At any point in time, you can do that. Now, I am actually missing here one more task. The task of downloading your DNA, your raw data DNA, your digital file with all the information of the DNA, not the matches, just the DNA. Why I'm not seeing here this option? Because this kid was uploaded. So if it was uploaded, it means that you already have that file on your computer. If it's a MyHeritage DNA kit, we will allow you to download it from MyHeritage and you can upload it to any other company that will allow you to upload 
What? Not everybody over there allow you to upload? Hmm. Not nice. Not nice. But yes, there are a few companies that will allow you to upload. There will be others that don't know how to play nice and will not allow you to upload DNA from any other company. Uh, and as I said before here, you can actually view the DNA matches for the person and you will see uh, this match. Brian is actually matching uh, me as myself. Yes, now you know my secret. Brian Jensen is my secret name and you see my mother here and I have hidden the rest of the people. Uh, or you could also see my estimate ethnicities and believe me, this is not what I did the DNA for because yes, I am about 88% Ashkenazi Jew. I really didn't need a DNA <laughs> for that. Okay, so it is actually that easy. Um, you just go to DNA tools, manage DNAs after you have uploaded and you are already ready to do that. Actually, you know what? I am also missing one more option that I'm going to mention here and I'm not seeing it because again, this is not uh, my heritage DNA. If you swap with my heritage, is you, if you took the test with my heritage, besides the ethnicity and the matches, my heritage is going to suggest you and you could take the health part of the DNA. That is a different uh, section or a different product, let's call it like that. You don't need to swap again because we already have your sample at the lab. And if you decide to do the health, you will receive your reports and hopefully improve uh, your uh, health and your activities. Uh, Marjorie is asking, are there instructions for how to don download your MyHeritage raw data? Yes, uh, Margie, you have instructions. Very easy. You click on the three dots, you select download raw data, you click over there and you wait for the file to be downloaded. It's that simple. Believe me. Okay. Now, I don't see any other thing here that I wanted to mention, so I'm going to go back. And if you lost this or any other of the uh, Ask the Experts, we are publishing slowly uh, once a week together with other webinars, together with how-to videos and other articles and material that you can download, resources that we're putting down for you in the knowledge base. How do you get to the knowledge base? You go to education.myheritage.com. And let me give you this surprise. Thomas McKinty was kind enough to give us one resource for this military records. So. Uh, go over there. It's totally free. You don't even need to register. You simply go into education.myheritage.com and you download all what we have for you or you start learning more about MyHeritage. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that we are releasing, everything that MyHeritage is doing, be sure to like me, friend me, uh, I don't know, go after me, find me in your social media and make sure that uh, you are going to be kept up to date uh, just by reading and seeing what I am posting over there every week and every day. So if you took note about this, if you took already the screenshot, okay, so then let me go to the very last slide where I have the pleasure to thank you all for being here, for being such a great crowd and audience. So just bring more friends into these sessions and let's go and answer your questions. I hope I will have time and yes, I know we had a delay. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to give you a couple more of minutes. But remember that if not, 
you can go to myheritage.com slash help and find over there your uh, answers. So uh, after you have already uploaded some DNA, someone's DNA, can you change the name here for the greater privacy? It's asking Irene. Uh, Irene, no. Once you already have um, uploaded for a particular person, that is the name who is going to appear. What you can do here is either re-upload, that could be fine, or if you go to the name of that person in the family tree, uh, there is a setting for that individual. If that is a, a MyHeritage user, if you invite him, he can uh, select an, uh, an AKA or, or, um, or other name to be shown, or you can actually uh, change the name of the person in the tree, which is going to look a little bit awkward, but those are the ways that you can uh, prevent using the real name. So the message is whenever you are uploading for somebody else, just make sure that the name you're using is the name you want to be shown out there. How private are the results which we will send? from Ancestry is actually asking Bridget. Well, Bridget, the, the results are gonna be as private as you want. Uh, like I was showing you, and I will get back to that page again uh, on um, the uh, matches, okay? If this DNA kit is getting matches with those two individuals, those two individuals are gonna see exactly the same. Okay, as you are seeing here, Daniel Horowitz, country Venezuela, and the amount of DNA, and you will see that I'm in a family tree. You will also see my um, uh, ancestors, my pedigree tree. That is the privatization that we are showing other people. Visuals are not working. Okay, I'm sorry. Now it's working. Thank you very much for alerting me about all this, Sandy. Um, okay, so as I was saying, this is the information, whatever you see from the other matches is what other matches is going to see from you. Will my uploaded DNA info provide me health information on my heritage? No. Uh, Bonnie, I'm very sorry. In order to provide health information, you need to swap. We actually need your saliva, your DNA, to uh, perform the health report um, uh, test and provide you with that. Uh, is there an extra fee to add the health test if I already have a MyHeritage DNA? It's asking Doris. Yes, the health report, it's a little bit extra charge because it's a different product. But as I said, you don't need to swap, you don't need to uh, take the test again if you have done it with my heritage. You don't need to ship anything to the lab. We already have it and no problem. Uh, Doris, thank you very much for this. Yes, Living DNA is the other company where you can download and upload to my heritage, Doris. Thank you very much. Uh, could you have a separate tab on the education that says as the expert will be easier to find okay judy thank you very much but i'm going to tell you exactly how you can do it if you go to education.com let's see how fast i can go there and you go into the search box and you write the word ask uh, no i said a S K, you're going to see there all the Ask the Experts webinar. Okay, is that easy? Now, if you really want to enjoy, there is another trick here. You can actually type my name and you will be able to see all the webinars, not only Ask the Experts, but all the webinars that I have done or any other. Like we have Rans Near which has been a wonderful lecturer for the DNA. You have here Mike Mansfield, also great presenter for records. So yes, it's that easy. 
Cassandra, what do I send people as a report or certificates for managed kids? Pretty and short and easy. So, uh, hmm, hmm, hang the well on the Okay, so Cassandra, I am sorry, but I don't think we have any kind of certificates. Uh, you could go into the um, the ethnicity and uh, you can print this ethnicity report uh, and that's that could be a nice thing that people can actually hang on the wall i don't know if this is what you are referring uh, if a possible dna cousin has his dna in another company can he upload it directly to my heritage yes of course uh, Ingrid, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, he can upload it, but then he will be managing that DNA and probably you're actually going to get information about matches. But yes, everybody can uh, manage and upload their DNAs without any problem. When matches are found, will you know which companies they came from? No worries, all the matches are gonna come from my heritage. It's either mean that the person swap on my heritage or uploaded to my heritage. It really doesn't matter. You're gonna get matches on my heritage and probably better or different than any other companies. I test and manage kids. Uh, good job, Cassandra. How to link other family members DNA to them on my tree. Oh, okay, I already show you that, the three dots on the corner, you just need to add their names over there. If I have uploaded my raw DNA and I want to use the health report, do I have to order another kit? Yes, Caroline, unfortunately, uploads will not work with DNA, with health, I'm sorry, with health, with health. Uh, do you have uh, to have a full paid app account on, uh, to upload your DNA results? No, Danny, you can upload your results for free, but uh, you will need a paid subscription or to pay a one-time fee to see some of the features on the matches, meaning you are gonna see the matches, you are gonna see some of the information that you have here. Let me show you, for example, uh, we had here, DNA matches, I'm gonna go to the match with my mother here, and you're gonna see, and I need to go very carefully on this, uh, you're gonna see smart matches, you're gonna see ancestral surnames, you're not gonna see ancestral places, this is a, a, pre, a, pre, a premium feature, then you're gonna see the shared matches, Okay, you're going to see the first one, but all the others, and I'm not going to scroll more down for all privacy reasons, but all the other share matches are premium features, meaning that you will need to pay. Very last questions from Tony. I uploaded um, my ancestry before, but recently have the, about the actual test in my heritage. Once I do that, the test, I mean, should I delete my other kids? Okay. No, Tony, you don't need to delete your other kids because uh, what's going to happen is that we're going to actually merge all those into one kit. So we're going to use uh, information from both in order to uh, have it there. I would suggest you also not to delete your previous kit because that previous kit may be used in a theory of family relativity, and we don't um, generate those often, okay? It may take a good couple of months until we come through another uh, round of uh, theories. So just leave it there, it will not harm. Um, okay, uh, Carol is have her last question. Um, one kid is attached to the wrong person in the wrong tree. Carol, very fa very fast, you go here to reassign the kid. And when you see the person here, you only need to make sure that you select the right one. And yes, I also have here many family trees with the same person. So how do you know where is the right person that you want to attach? This is my trick. Go to the family tree 
just change or add something to the name so you will know that this is Beppe Jensen the greatest and that is the one that you want to attach the person to and once you have uh, reassigned the DNA kit you can go back and uh, change the name or correct the name in the tree. Bridget, how long does usually take the results if you swap between two to three weeks if you upload just a couple more of days. Uh, okay, um, posted and asked to the genealogy group. Oh, thank you very much, Maria. You are already doing your homework. So thank you very, very much to all of you for being here, for your interest and attention. I wish and hope you all have a nice weekend. Please stay safe. And you know the what? We have plenty of time, so why not just do a little bit of genealogy? Goodbye, everybody.